Hi friends. Today we are going to um, look at this little tool. This is a measuring tool similar to a ruler. Well, that's totally crooked. There we go. Okay, it's a measuring tool similar to a ruler. It's called a protractor. A protractor is used for measuring the width of angles. Okay, so an angle is when two rays start at one point, that's this center part right here, and they go out, and angles can be small, or angles can be big, but just like measuring lines, um, it ha the measurement has to be accurate. So there are a few things that you need to know about a protractor before you start to use it. First and foremost, there is a right, a right side to hold it, or there's an upside down, a right side up and an upside down, okay? You always want to make sure, if you can see my numbers here, you want to make sure that your numbers are not upside down, okay? So if I had my protractor like this, my numbers, you can see them, they're upside down. Now, there's no difference here between my clear protractor and my green protractor. They both measure exactly the same way. Um, the green protractor is just a little bit easier to see on paper, but if you have a clear one, totally fine too, okay? So again, this is right side up. Oh, mine's broken. And this one right here is upside down. So it's really important that you make sure that your protractors are going the right direction. Okay, second of all, there's a little hole right here in the center of all of your protractors. So here in my green one, it's right there. And here in my clear one, it's right there, okay? That hole serves a purpose. If I were to look through it, maybe I could look through this one. I should see the center of my angle. I should see this part right here where my where the palms, my wrists meet, okay? That's the center point of an angle. So if I have an angle, oh no, I don't have a marker. Okay, I guess I'll just use paper. If I have an angle and my angle I'm just drawing a random angle here. My angle is this. Okay, you don't have to write this down. This is just for illustrative purposes. This right here is the, the origin, okay? It's also the center point. You might hear it called... Um, several other things too, but that's that's the center right there. Okay, that's the inside angle. When you're measuring an angle, you measure from the first ray to the second ray. And if you notice, my protractor is round because we measure this distance here. That's how we know what the distance of this angle is. It's the same distance. Okay? That's why it's that's why it's a circle. All right. So, one thing that you need to have is the center dot. Make sure that you um, always locate that. Okay? The second part that you need to know about a protractor is that straight out from the second part there are two numbers. The first number is a zero, and the second number is a 180. Now, if I look at the exact opposite side from the center, I go this way, I have the same two numbers, but they're in the different order. They're in a different order. So on this side, the inside number is a zero, and the outside is a 180. 
This side has a 180 on the inside and a zero on the outside. So when you're measuring your angle, you always want to make sure. Sometimes it's going to be from this side. It'll usually be from this side, though. You always want to make sure that you use the scale. Okay, so the scale is the numbers. You use the scale that starts with a zero. If you use the 180, it's going to be wrong. And you don't want to have the wrong answer. So you need to make sure you have the center point located. And you want to know the difference between the inside scale and the outside scale. Okay. Now the last thing that you need to look at, and I'm just going to move my paper, is these tiny little lines here between this. So if this is 100, this big line right here is 100, and this one is 110, then this one right in between is, I hope you said 105, 105. If this is 105, then each one of these tiny little lines is one degree. And a degree is what we measure um, angles in. A degree is like the linear, the angular measurement. Okay, if you're measuring lines, then you're going to measure in centimeters or inches or miles or meters or yards. But angles are always measured in degrees. So each one of these little tiny lines is one degree. So if I have an angle that lands right here, I'm going to say this is 100, 101, 102, 103. And that's how you read your protractor. So that is all the information that you need to know about your protractor. In the next video, we will start using our protractor to measure.